Welcome to TEIJG.com. This is Eric. I am the Yank. And this is Anthony. I am the Crank. Uh, this is episode 5151. Yeah, we've passed the big 50 mark, haven't we? Yeah, we're, uh, we're, uh, well, we said we're doing a little format change, but, uh, we have a little timeout. Yes, yeah, a little bit of we timeout. Very, very, uh, important questions from, a a good, f- uh, a friend of the show <laughs> named yeah. Scott. Yes. Yes, thank you, so, uh, thank you, Scott, for uh, purchasing uh, an ebook from us. Yep, and uh, we told Scott, you got any questions? Shoot them our way, and he shot us some questions. So we thought we'd answer it in the show, so more than one person could benefit from from the answers. Yes, that's a good idea, isn't it? And before we get into the show, um, let me give you some site updates. Currently, I am moving all the podcast audio files to another location, so there probably all the the links are dead on the site except for the last four four episodes. So what I have to do is I've updated the last four episodes, so those should be good to go. But anything previous to that is either a dead link or not linked. So eventually, slowly, I'm going to go back and, and put all, fill all those in. But if you are listening to the archives and I'm trying to catch up and you need any shows, just shoot me an email at ett808 at gmail.com and uh, with the... The show number that you want, the episode number, and uh, I'll, I'll send you a link to that and try to go get those updated as quickly as possible. Uh, other than that, I think that's all we got for the site updates. Wouldn't you say so, Tony? Yeah, there's nothing else we put up there, is there? Cool. Any any uh, any updates in in your uh, in your space in your t- part of the town over there? Anything well, interesting going on over there? Now it's been pretty quiet actually because of the the uh, old bond, you know holidays. Um, yeah, and the uh, cicadas, the uh, semis have started to uh, quieten down a bit over there. Oh, yeah, They're yeah. still around, but, you know, they're not as not prominent as, as they were. Not as num- mind-numbing as usual. <laughs> yeah. So there's not much uh, happening over there. And we had a heat heat wave for a long time, and like, it seems like to the last two days it's kind of cooled down a little bit, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it definitely has. Yeah, it's a lot cooler. I mean, today's nice, isn't it? It's not, oh, yeah, it's it's not nice. humid today. So I'd say what twenty eight, twenty yeah, seven, right twenty eight. Yeah. Definitely under the thirty mark. Isn't oh it? yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so uh, what's on, new on my side tomorrow? I'm going for the family vacation. Oh, we're driving to uh, Safari Park, which is an outdoor zoo kind of thing. You stay in your car, make sure you don't get eaten by lions and shit like that. <laughs> uh, then after that, in the evening, we'll we'll stay at a, an onsen on the top of the mountain. Oh, you know. All you can eat traditional Japanese, uh, not all you can eat, a Jap- Japanese course with all you can drink. So we'll drink until about eight or nine and then probably do the hot spring thing and just go to bed and wake up the crack of dawn and go somewhere else. So we don't really know where, where we're going Saturday, uh, Sunday. I mean, we're eventually ending up home, but knowing my father-in-law, we're going to be coming home via a very far away drive. <laughs> Yes, that's uh, well. They don't drive like we drive, do yeah. they over here? And they you know, do, their shortcuts yeah. aren't shortcuts. And they do like to maximize every minute of the day when they're when they're supposedly on vacation, relaxing. It's, they do. It's yeah. it's it's a uh, it's stressful for me. I need like a week after, which luckily I have a week and a half after to to recuperate from these high paced vacations. Yeah, they really squeeze. The most they can out of each day, don't they? Yeah, and I think it's because they're trained by like the big travel agencies like JTB. And when you do those package tours, it's like every single freaking minute is is taken up. You don't have much free time for yourself, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. But the kids, I mean, number one reason we're going is the kids, you know. We, the adults, we don't really care. The drinking and the eating part's cool, but the kids, they just want, you know, got to get them out there. And since we're leaving Japan, it'll be like the last family vacation probably. Or one of the last, but we might jump over to Korea a couple of times or something like that, maybe. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, get them, get the kids out there and burn them out, burn them out. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Are you ready for the questions, there, sir? Oh, I certainly am. We're ready to to fire up. Question number one. Uh, let's see. How can I paraphrase this? Uh, what are the most common jobs you see that are available to gaijin that are not? Teachers. So I'll let you, I mean, pretty much go through your list of things that come to the top of your head, and I'll, I'll 
add in mine, and we'll you know we'll do a little discussion and see what what we come up with. Okay. So yep. Yep. Shoot. Okay. So jobs that aren't uh, well for foreigners, of course. Well, the main ones um, English teaching, isn't it? That's that's yes. the main thing. Uh, but other jobs are available out there. Like you can you can work in a uh, like I used to work at the Hyatt Regency Hotel when I first came to Japan, uh, Fukuoka, in the um, just as part time in the uh, concierge. Yep. Yep. But you, you do need a little bit of Japanese, but the money is so low. It was like you know I was a uh, hundred thousand yen a month. Yeah, and that was uh, what, what year was that? So let's let's quantify Damn, that. Damn, that's about. Uh, 2007? Oh, no. Yeah, 2007. No, no, no. 2007. Oh, that's a 97, right? Or 2000? Oh, sorry. No. Uh, it was, it must have been nine, uh, 1997. 97. Yeah, I, I sorry, came 99. Early. So, yeah, probably 97. Yeah. yeah. So, late 96, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, late 96, early 1997. Now, I know that's a long time ago, but, mm-hmm. you know, like, wages are, you know. How many hours did you work at that place? Just, just 40. Curious. Part-time 40 and you only Part-time got about 100,000? No yep. bonuses? Uh, well, they did give us a bonus about 4,000 yen. <laughs> which is, so that's $40. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> which that is, sucked. <laughs> <laughs> which I was surprised to get anything, really. Cool. Okay. So... Well, but that, that's, a, that's a while ago, but, yeah, there are jobs in the hotels, guaranteed. Yeah, and they're still there, yeah. you know, like, um, I mean, you know, probably know some other places as well. Uh, yeah. Second one would be, like, you could get some part-time work uh, working in a gaijin bar. Yep, gaijin bar for sure. But but then again, you know, like, the salary is really, really low. Yeah, and, and there's definitely no tips in Japan, so no. is, that's not... Well, gaijin bar, sometimes the bartender will have a tip jug, but that's, that's even that's rare. You know, you'll see it once in a while, but it's nowhere near that, like, in America... Bartenders make all their money on tips, but in Japan, there's no tips. Let's just we'll just say that there's no tips. So uh, working nightclubs, bars, it, you know, I guess part time. So it depends. You know, some some are bar back, some are bartenders, some are just uh, staff. Yeah, I've seen I've seen all of those. And what else? Uh, so on my side, let me give you a couple. I got a couple. I got one friend. I won't name a name, but he works for a Japanese web web company, and uh, he has experience in in uh, programming HTML, CSS, and PHP. So he 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 makes a pretty good chunk of change. He makes about, I'm guessing, four hundred thousand a month. So that's about four thousand bucks a month, give or that's take. And he does freelance. So that's why I don't want to mention his name, but about that, I don't know exactly. Then uh, well, uh, an- another former teacher who just got a job. He got while living here. He studied to get a Cisco Systems Networking certificate, and uh, he just scored a job recently in Miyazaki, which is a a beach community. But surprisingly, there, for some reason, there's a, a company, a internet company, and or no networking company down there that that hired him. So he got lucky on that one. Another guy recently, our good friend, uh, the Canadian. Mm-hmm. He just scored a programming job working in Hakata. I don't know the how much the salary is, but I do know this it's a uh, term position, so contracted, yeah, for a certain amount of like 6 months and then it's renewable, renewable, renewable. So th- it's, there's not that job has doesn't really have much uh security, I guess you could say. It's it's a the funding comes from the government for that that one job. So if the funding gets cut, the job gets cut. But uh, let's see who else. Anybody else we know working outside of? Oh, owners. Owners, yeah. Owners, owners of, of schools. Yes. Owners of bars and restaurants. We know several of those. At least we know at least three bar and restaurant owners. Yeah. Yep. Uh, probably more than that actually. Three that I can think of at the top of my head. Several school owners. Yes. And. Uh, we know somebody that works in import export in the port. Yes. And he uh he had to, he studied he was pretty he lived there for a while and his Japanese was was pretty casual and pretty good but he he stopped working and studied uh Japanese business Japanese for one year straight and then then started working at the port. But he ends up actually going to Hong Kong and China and Korea more often so he usually he has to speak Japanese but mostly it's English. But when he's in Japan, it's, it's, of course, he's doing translation and stuff. 
Then we know uh, some translation people, yeah? Yep, yep. Do you know how much they're making? Well, it all depends on, you know, the, the, the content of, of what they're translating and yeah. you know, how many pages and all that sort of thing. Um, but the ones that do it as a business, they make a good chunk of change. Yep, yep, yep. And one, I know one guy who works for uh, Panasonic or national or a subsidiary of Panasonic, and, and he he is a full time worker. I mean, he has to work all the hours like a Japanese salary person salary man does. So you know, he's he gets home at like nine or ten at night during the week every freaking day. You know, you gotta do, you gotta do your time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah. his his Japanese is excellent. So it it's like he can translate on the fly and written. So for that job, you have to be really good. But there's other translation jobs where it's not as high pressure and, and you can sit down and, and do the document on your own. But his job, sometimes he's translating uh, people doing presentations. So he's got it you know, pretty good. What else? Um, you were saying about Costco's. And- oh, yeah. Costco and Ikea is coming to Fukuoka area. They're, they're, they had an advertisement that they're going to be hiring Gaijin as well. I'll, me and Tony were thinking about the pay, and we were like, uh, maybe if you're lucky, 120, 140, maybe 160 for like entry level job. If you're lucky, yeah, it's not it's not going to be a massive amount of money. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I know Costco. Some of the people working there, there's a manager there. He probably makes a decent clip, but then there's a a buyer. The, the other people are just cashier, normal Costco workers, and I don't think they make. They don't make that much money in America, so I don't think they make that much money here. But it is a good chance to use only Japanese. So if you're thinking short term, you know, I want to get a job where I can speak Japanese, it's it's a good you don't mind making that sacrifice, it's okay. But most importantly, when you're looking for a job, especially uh, Scott, he's going to be coming out of a community college, which means he's most likely on a student visa. So you can't. You can only work limited part to part time on that student visa, correct? Yes. Very yep. limited. There are lots of conditions in that. No, you can do privates on the side and you know build up your privates maybe, but that's you know. That's not top guaranteed. Secret. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Top. It's not guaranteed money either. It's very yeah. hard to to keep them for a period of time, isn't exactly, it? Exactly. Exactly. And you're not going to make a lot of money out of them these days no. either. There's not, you know. Not yeah. Not, you, you'd have to do like. Well, you can find some high high paying, but if not, you'd have to do groups to, and charge people lower amounts. But it's to still get the, you know, three to twenty five hundred, three thousand. We know some people that, that 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 uh, teach doctors for like ten thousand, but that's really these days is rare. It's hard to find even, that. Even five is hard to find. Yeah, five thousand like yen there. Yeah. Twenty five hundred to three thousand yen. So it's still, if you think about it per hour in compared to the U.S. or Australia, it's still a nice chunk of change. Well, that's right. Yeah. If you don't have to travel so far. Yeah. So, number one is you're going to have to... He didn't want to necessarily... Want, he doesn't know if he wants to teach English. So, but number one is after you finish college, you're going to have to get a visa that's not student. Yes. So, the the reason why most people just go straight into teaching English... Is because... It's easy it's <laughs> to easy. get that job that and visa. Yeah, and you you just got to have that visa for a yeah. start. And that's, that's really important. And... and yeah, go ahead. you probably find that that's what you have to do, and then you start looking around. But n- the key is, yeah, get that visa, get in there, and don't get complacent. Keep your fucking hunt on, because I've known people who.